It has been an absolutely gorgeous and serene September in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Unless, of course, you're Mike Loxley. For the embattled University of New Mexico football coach, life has been anything but tranquil these days. The Fire Loxley movement is gaining fire by... By the minute, actually. And right now, boosters and fans are calling for his ouster. Loxley's Lobos have been massacred in all four games they've played. Dating back to the final game of last season, the Lobos have lost five straight games by 35 or more points. How many times has that happened in Lobo history? Mm, once. 1967, when Bill Weeks was in the final year of his tenure as coach. In the entire lackluster, if not dismal, history of Lobo football, five straight losses by 35 or more points, even that is just outrageous. The setbacks came during a stretch when the Lobos lost 29 of 30 games in the late 60s. The Lobos have lost 15 of 16 in Loxley's one-plus seasons at New Mexico, and rumors are out of control about his future. But to give Loxley credit, at today's news conference, I asked him about those rumors, and he stayed cool and collected when answering. Of course, he didn't answer the question. Hello, it's Mark Smith, Albuquerque Journal. Have you talked to Paul Krebs uh, since the game Saturday night about your future? You know what? Uh, let, let me. I'm gonna make this clear to you know this 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 press conference will be about UTEP. Um, we'll talk about this upcoming uh, game. We'll talk about the preparation for this game. Um, Mark, now that you're covering football, uh, you can get with Chris Deal and we can sit down and kind of go through some of the one-on-one -on -one background stuff of where we are from that standpoint. But I'd really like to keep this uh, on UTEP. With all the speculation going on. I don't operate with speculation. I don't operate out of speculation. Uh, don't worry about things I can't control. So I can control getting ready for UTEP. Desperate times call for desperate measures. They also call for a victory. And Loxley says that would really come in handy this Saturday against UTEP. Coach, we're talking about UTEP. How, how desperate are you guys for a win to kind of settle things down? Right now? Well, definitely de desperate, Mark. Uh, I mean, I think, as I told our team, uh, it's important to get the first win. I mean, I think if you look at the way we've sputtered along and where we've played well in spurts in different phases and never collectively put it together, this team, once it has some success, and it's what I've seen out of this team, that when you have some success, uh, they tend to play a lot better. And so it's definitely a point that uh, we need to find a way to win this game. And as I said, it's going to be a one-game season with each week for us as we bring this team along. And so, you know, I think our team understands the importance of it, which is maybe one of the reasons uh, as, a, a, as a collective unit they call the players-only meetings, which usually sometimes uh, – they come out the wrong way, but I think this one definitely uh, was one in, in which they were able to, to galvanize and regroup themselves to say we need to go out and fight this uh, Saturday against a good team coming here at home. One win? Who knows? Maybe the Lobos can go on a roll and save their season. One more loss, and who knows? Maybe heads will roll in Lobo land. For the Albuquerque Journal Online, this has been Mark Smith.